Madden 17 is right around the corner. And today we're digging deep to find 10 players worthy enough of their own special card for Madden 17 Ultimate Team. Wow, this list is good. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin with this. Before we move on to this incredible list of ultimate team players, I have to have a massive shout out to Captain Tater Tot. If it wasn't for him, this video literally would not be possible. He was the one that made me every single one of these ultimate team cards. With that said, he actually has his own YouTube channel that he just started not too long ago. And honestly, he's a lot better than I was a few years ago whenever I just started YouTube. So if you wouldn't mind showing your love by going to his channel and hitting that like button and heck, even subscribing to him, that would definitely mean so much. And at least guys, go ahead and check out his Instagram. His name is Captain Tater Tot YT. This is actually where he sent me a lot of the ultimate team cards and showed me the ones that he made. So heck, maybe even he can make you one that you want to see in Madden 17 Ultimate Team. Now that's no guarantees, but guys, just go ahead and follow him because this dude is pretty awesome. And like I said, if it wasn't for him, this video would never happen. Now guys, I'm really looking for your support on this video. If you even see one card that you think is a really good idea for Madden 17 Ultimate Team, please go ahead and hit that like button. Also, if you wouldn't mind sharing it with a friend or two, that would definitely mean so much because I'll a lot of thought and effort definitely went into this one. Without further ado though, let's start with this list. Now keep in mind, this is my personal list. I'm sure a lot of you guys will have your own opinions on what cards you would like to see for Madden 17. So if you have any really good ideas, please let me know who you would pick in the comments below. Now my first card at number 10 will be Elite Devin Hester for the Chicago Bears. This will be a wide receiver card, but basically the main reason why I would like to see this is because in my opinion, he is without a doubt the best kick returner in NFL history. I mean, he holds the all-time kick return touchdown record. I think that says enough for itself. Now, obviously, he's not the greatest wide receiver in NFL history. If at best, he was an average receiver. But whenever he got the ball on kick returns, he was one of the greatest of all time. Every time that I would watch a game with Chicago Bears and they would get a chance to get a kick or punt return, I was on my toes every single time because no matter how far or short or how high every kick was, I knew Devin Hester had a chance to bring it back to the house every time. With that said, I give him a 90 overall card for the Chicago Bears not the Atlanta Falcons. So kind of a flashback card, but I'd like to see this receiver card with a lot of elusiveness and juke moves and a great spin move, different stuff like that. Also, he was a pretty quick guy, so I'd like to see his speed up there as well. Now, like I said, obviously not the best wide receiver, so his catching and stuff wouldn't be that great, but I think this would be such an awesome card to see in Ultimate Team. And for all you guys that love using Dre Archer, the silver card for Madden 17 Ultimate Team, could you imagine using this guy as an elite card for your kick returns. Now up next at number nine, we're gonna have flashback Terrell Owens for the Dallas Cowboys. Now a lot of people think of Terrell Owens on the Philadelphia Eagles or even the San Francisco 49ers. But the card that I wanna see in Madden 17 Ultimate Team is the one for the Dallas Cowboys. This guy without a doubt should have been a first ballot Hall of Famer. Unfortunately though, somehow he was not. There's no doubt in my mind he was one of the prime time receivers of his time and to see him not be able to be in the Hall of Fame yet is definitely mind boggling to me. This guy could do it all from going deep downfield to getting jump balls, slant routes, heck even blocking anybody that he had to. This guy was all around a great player. Now, this is definitely a player that you either love or hate. In my personal opinion, I definitely liked him as a football player. Off the field, maybe a little bit of a different story. But hey, definitely worthy of a really high overall. Give him a 98 overall card in Madden Ultimate Team. Let me know what you guys think about this one. Up next, Brett Favre. And I'm not going to lie, this is kind of a personal one for me. Growing up, I was definitely a Steelers fan. But there was one player in the NFL that I liked that wasn't on the Pittsburgh Steelers. And that was Brett Favre. I always looked up to this guy and loved the way that he played and was a leader for his team. And it's because of the Green Bay Packers that this man is a Hall of Famer, not the Vikings, not the Jets, not anybody else, the Green Bay Packers. This man was a straight legend. He really, really was, in my opinion, like I said, somebody that I really looked up to whenever I was growing up. And that is why I'm giving him a 96 overall legend card for the Green Bay Packers in Madden 17 Ultimate Team. And now at number seven, something Colts fans should definitely love me for Marvin Harrison. 
It was so incredible to watch the Colts offense whenever they had Peyton Manning, Marvin Harrison, Reggie Wayne, Edron James. Their offense was absolutely incredible. Now, I know Marvin Harrison wasn't the biggest of receivers, but he always got the job done. He was definitely somebody that I love watching as well. Now, the reason why I'm going with Marvin Harrison isn't because of his size or how great he was, but I really thought this guy was such a respectable player on and off the field. Not only that, but he was a pretty dang good football player, in my opinion, the best Colts wide receiver to ever play the game. It's time that we add some new wide receivers that we've never seen in Ultimate Team before into Ultimate Team, and we're going to start it off with Marvin Harrison, 95 overall legend card. Man, it would be awesome to see this guy. Up next, this one is for Steeler Nation. We're going with Elite Troy Polamalu. This guy was without a doubt the cornerstone of Dick LeBeau's defense and was the reason why the Steelers defense was so great for so many years. I mean, seriously, this guy had so many great plays, it was unbelievable. I'm sure you guys have seen him jump over the line before the ball was even snapped, or his one-handed interception against the Baltimore Ravens. This man was a madman on the field and literally ran around like crazy. He called his own plays and would go wherever he see needed fit, and it worked out so well for him, and I'm so proud to say that hopefully, just hopefully, this guy can get a card in Ultimate Team. And now at number five, a player that I have gained so much more respect over the years, Sean Taylor. Now, quite frankly, I didn't hear much about this player until unfortunately he did pass away. But after that, I decided to do a lot of research and just watch this guy on the field. He was without a doubt one of the best safeties whenever he was in the NFL. I mean, seriously, this guy could literally do it all. He was huge. He could play linebacker if he wanted to. To see some of his hard hits and interceptions was just absolutely incredible. And it's so unfortunate that he did lose his life. So I want to see this car with a ton of hit power and awareness and great zone coverage. I think that would definitely suit him well. And that's why I'm giving Sean Taylor a 98 overall ghost card for Madden 17. And now at number four, Randy Moss, flashback. Minnesota Vikings. This man is without a doubt the best deep ball receiver I have ever seen play the game. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get to see that much of him whenever he played for the Minnesota Vikings, but I definitely remember seeing him whenever he played with Tom Brady and the New England Patriots. Tom Brady would literally just chuck them up downfield, and Randy Moss would come down with it so many times. I believe he actually set the touchdown record for wide receivers that season. But I just have to go with his Minnesota Vikings card because that is where it all began. That is where he became legendary definitely such an insane player and he deserves the 99 overall that I am giving him I'm not giving that to many people but I'm giving him the 99 overall because he is that good guys and seriously let me know wouldn't you be excited to be able to use a card like this now moving on to number three, this is definitely a personal request of mine. I honestly don't know if many people would like to see this card at all or not. And this will be a flashback LaShawn McCoy for the Philadelphia Eagles. Now seriously, Eagles fans, would you actually want to see this card in Ultimate Team? I know that I definitely do. This guy without a doubt was my favorite player in the NFL whenever he played for the Philadelphia Eagles whenever he was in his prime. Such an elusive running back. I've never seen anybody play the game of football with such elusivity if that's even a word i don't know but this guy was so elusive his juke moves were incredible the things that this guy did on the field in the open field and on defenders is insane guys not to mention he was on my fantasy team three years in a row and helped me win a few championships and not to mention he went to pit for college and i'm from pittsburgh so we kind of have a connection going but yeah i want to see this guy with the best elusive stats on the planet this guy definitely deserves it. Like I said, would you guys actually want to see this card, especially if you're an Eagles fan? And now at number two, literally the sole reason why I play Ultimate Team, Brian Urlacher, Chicago Bears, 99 overall. Now there's kind of a backstory between me and this card. In Madden 10 Ultimate Team, the first Ultimate Team that ever came out, I started playing it and I got so low on coins and contracts that I literally wasn't able to play any more games or get any more cards. I had under 100 cards and how the game worked, there was no other way for me to get coins at all. No collections, 
I couldn't even get into a game because all my contracts were out. So I decided to search the auction hall for a little bit and I ended up sniping a legend Brian Erlacher for one coin. I'll literally never forget this because in Madden Ultimate Team 10 you could post a card for as low as you wanted to. I ended up selling it for over 100,000 coins and if it wasn't for that I would have had to quit Ultimate Team for good. Not to mention, Brian Erlacher is a heck of a linebacker and definitely a Bears legend and he definitely deserves to have a really good card in Madden Ultimate Team. He's a very big and strong player and I think that he'll be a great player to use and I'm sure a lot of you guys definitely want to see this guy. And now, at the number one spot, my man, Champ Bailey. Give him a card on the Washington Redskins because this guy was one of my favorite players ever on defense whenever he played for him. Seriously, I need to see a flashback of this card. Just watching him lock up defenders, whether if it was zone coverage, man coverage, whatever it was, this guy was a lockdown cornerback. He really could do it all at that position. I was so excited every single week to be able to watch this guy. I know he's had cards in Ultimate Team before, but they need to bring it back for Madden 17 Ultimate Team. They really do. That would make me so happy. Now, guys, that was my top 10 list. Please let me know one player, just one player that you guys would like to see in Madden 17 Ultimate Team. Also, like I said, if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button on this video, it means so much. Guys, don't forget to check out Cap. Captain Tater Tot. Links will be in the description below. It would mean so much to me, so much to him. Thank you guys so much for watching this Madden 17 wish list. For more stuff like this, guys, don't forget to subscribe. As always, please, guys, keep God number one. Until next time, this is your boy Pizza. Peace out, guys.